Welcome into our Eclipse National Forecast. I'm meteorologist Eve Glazier and our team both in front of the camera and behind the camera have been working tirelessly the past few days to create as many graphics for you, explanations, forecasts, and etc. So what this video is all about is the local forecast section by section, northwest into the high plains, central and down to the southeastern United States. So feel free to fast forward and rewind to your section to get the details on some of the bigger cities for Forecast. Once again, that path of totality cutting right through the lower 48 from Oregon to South Carolina. It is going to be hottest in parts of the central plains and then coolest, of course, at the Pacific Northwest because it's happening around 10 o'clock local time there and the high temperatures later in the day will be in the 80s. So in some cases we will be in the 60s watching this eclipse. So the big weather story is that we will have some clouds and rain to contend with. We're in the summertime. They pop up here in the afternoon hours across the southeast, just west of the Mississippi River Valley through Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, parts of Nebraska, Iowa and Minnesota and even parts of South Dakota. Watch closely. You could have some rain in your area and across the monsoon sections in New Mexico, for instance, a better bed of rain into the northwest. This is as we get you into the morning hours right around when things are getting going and not a lot happening. I'm a little bit more fearful of some low cloud hanging around right at the coast. That would probably be the biggest impact here for Madras, uh, Oregon temperatures are going to be near 70 degrees, mostly clear sky and uh, no big eclipse impacts locally for you there for Corvallis, Oregon. The total eclipse around 10 16 to 10 18. It is going to be mostly clear and temperatures in the 60s here with uh, again no huge eclipse impacts there either. Low cloud would be the exception, so uh, watch for further forecasts for that and Idaho Falls, Idaho 1133 local time partly cloudy, so finding a few more clouds in the sky. Temps in the 70s. You'll see a low impact there for Idaho Falls, Idaho on the impact index. Let's make our way into parts of Wyoming and into Nebraska where you'll see that this is going to be moving through Riverton, Casper and over to Scotts Bluff. And we do have a little bit of rain in the northeastern uh, uh, Wyoming, western South Dakota and uh, some extra cloud into western Nebraska. So that's where it's looking a little bit uh, hairier for Casper, Wyoming, mostly sunny forecast temperatures in the 70s. A total eclipse around 1140 to 1145 local time. We have included you for clouds and visibility and temperatures for the low impact there for Casper into Jackson, Wyoming, partly cloudy temperatures in the 60s. The eclipse happening there into the morning hours uh, uh, local time, late morning hours. Uh, medium though for Jackson, Wyoming for the clouds and visibility uh, for you. So clouds again are going to be intermittent there in Jackson. The forecast Lincoln, we do introduce the chance of showers 102 central time for you there in Lincoln, Nebraska, as you move into time zones, Grand Island uh, around one o'clock central as well. Partly cloudy chance of showers and temperatures around 80 for Grand Island. Still a low uh, impact, so it's at least not moderate or high, which is some good news. And North Platte, Nebraska, right around 1254 Central Time. Partly cloudy, slight chance of showers and temperatures will be in the 80s there for North Platte with a low uh, clouds visibility and temperature impact. As we make our way further to the southeast, the story is both some rain. We could have some rain in Kansas City. Uh, as you get further east, a clearer sky towards St. Louis. So for St. Joe, uh, we are introducing a chance of some showers temperatures in the 80s. The eclipse again right around uh, or a little after one o'clock local time for Jefferson City 113 p.m. and partly cloudy sky with temperatures in the 80s and a slight chance of showers there for Jefferson, Missouri. Low on the thunderstorms, temperatures and clouds impacts. We could have some of the thunderstorm activity there in Carbondale, Illinois. This is where it's looking partly cloudy and uh, even to mostly sunny in some cases. So we are looking at pretty good conditions here in Carbondale, Illinois with uh, no huge impacts of thunderstorms there. We will make our way further down to the south uh, into places like uh, Nashville and the Paducah. Uh, where Nashville is going to happen around 1:30 central time. Uh, temperature is going to be near 90. So we have bumped up the temperature impact there for you. So make sure you are staying hydrated. Paducah, Kentucky, 1:30 central time. Partly cloudy chance of some showers there. It's on the low side. We do have a little bit of a higher chance of some rain here. Parts of South Carolina, especially closer to Charleston, Somerville for Columbia. It's a 40% chance of showers at the moment with a higher uh, impact there in Columbia of clouds and visibility being obscured in Greenville as well around 240, 20% chance of showers. You can come back to weathernationtv.com for more of these forecasts throughout the weekend.